It's all about humanity. All right, guys, welcome back. Did you like the song or not? I, I don't know. I can't really decide if I like that song. It had a really cool intro, though. Kind of weird. Eh, whatever. It's free music. I can't complain because I don't get copyright strikes from it. So, today, well, first of all, I've been flying a lot of this F-86K, and it's the French one. It's a 90. Probably should be more of a 93, but I've already covered that. But I'll tell you what I've really started liking this plane lately. Now, if you can't tell just by watching this right here, this plane has absolutely no turn rate whatsoever. It's miserable. A Valtour can outturn this plane. It's really sad. But, just like the rest of the Sabres, this thing actually has a really good roll rate. And so that makes it great for defensive flying. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today, and I'm going to focus on Sabre defensive flying in general, because even though this plane has a lot of power, it's a little bit different than the other Sabres, it still has that same roll rate, and it still has the same defensive flying. Now, in another video, I will go ahead and I will cover defensive flying in the Hunter, because that is a whole different flight style. That is more of an elevator, not so much of a roll rate, so, but let's focus on the Sabres. So you see right now, I've already got an F-100 glued to my butt. Now, this plane does not go any faster than any other 9.0. It does have a lot of power though, but you'll see as I start into this, Sabre defensive flying is not about just flopping around like you're a madman. So I'm starting into this guy. You see, I'm slightly descending a little bit. What I'm trying to do is stay under his gun, stay under his aim. All right, the air brake comes out. And you see how I'm rolling, and now obviously he was quick and easy to overshoot. We heat up the missiles as we're starting to turn, and get a lock, fire it off, and he does not have time to even see it coming or respond. Easy enough kill. But wait, there's more. We get not one, not two, but three reversals on F-100s in this clip. And this is, I had so much of this footage built up that... I had to at least do something with it. So, I'm looking around. There's already a guy glued up behind me. All right, so here he goes. He's coming in fairly quick. I'm dropping my nose. I want to try and get down behind this mountain a little bit. It'll throw him off. I get down to the deck. All right, so I'm going to, at this distance, I'm going to do a little subtle roll back and forth just to throw him off. And as we get closer, you see I'm trying to stay under his nose. Here he goes. He's now the other side, and he makes absolutely horrible decision. Pulls right in front of me. And he's done. Guys, don't, don't, if you overshoot someone, turn away from them. Turn away from them. Do not turn back into them. Everybody's doing it. I guess it's the cool thing to do. I don't know. But anyways, so here comes another F-100. I'm going to set up at about a 90 degree angle because I know he's got a lot of speed coming in. And it's going to make him easily overshoot me. Drop a little bit, turn back into him, and... Again, why guys, why? Why do you turn right in front of my guns? I, why? Uh, sorry, that was pretty pitiful aim for a second, but yeah, he is now done. And all this from a plane that has an absolutely piss poor turn rate. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you to another clip right here and I'm gonna break it down a little bit for you, all right? We're gonna slow things down. So here comes another F-100. Most people don't shoot until around 500 meters. So from one kilometer to around 700 meters, all I'm doing is just subtle turns just to kind of throw them off a little bit. So now we get a little bit closer and let's slow down again. So what we're doing is we're playing against the instructor here. All right, so let's stop it right here. And so the instructor, if you don't already know, is what translates your mouse input into, you know, the aircraft movements. So if if I move to the left and the right of his wing, he's going to have a hard time actually aiming his aircraft in that direction. Same thing if I go under his nose a little bit. The aircraft doesn't have the same controls it does if it's pulling positive Gs. So the worst place you could ever be in a defensive situation is directly on the nose of the aircraft behind you and either slightly above it. It is very easy for an aircraft to pull its nose up and shoot you. The safest place you could be is slightly below the nose and to the left or the right. That is the absolute safest place is to the left or right and below the nose at the same time. The reason is because if they want to try and get their nose on you, they have to either roll to the left or the right and then drag their mouse towards you or whatever it takes to get the nose on. 
only say the best MIG pilots, like a MIG-15, MIG-17, are good enough to kick the rudder either way and then use a down elevator to get into that position. Even then, it's a very awkward movement. So putting things back into play, you see I started rolling here and I realized that I rolled my wings in the same direction and slightly above his nose. Realized that was a mistake, so I kept rolling and then started pulling downward into that corner below his nose. Alright, so here we are. Now we're getting under his nose. He's getting ready to overshoot. I kind of tease him and I roll back under his nose and then all of a sudden as he passes, we pull back towards him as tight as we can. Fire a couple shots off and get our crit. He has lost tail control. No longer a threat, and he's out of the game. Clear as mud, guys. I hope it makes some sense. That's, that's how I think. That's my mentality when I go through a defensive posture, and that's any aircraft in general. But I'm focusing, like I say, on the Sabres with this one. So we'll give you one more clip. This one's a little bit longer. Obviously, got another F-100 glued to me. I'm looking behind me. Yeah, I got time to react to these bullets, so this one's kind of sparked, but at this distance, I should be able to react to most bullets. At this point, he's actually starting to get a little bit closer, and as we get closer, you see I start going under his nose the best I can. Missile's not going to track me at all. At this point, I'm inside his turn. I drop underneath and then pull tight against him. We try and pull towards him. I see the missile's launched, and I just kind of react. I didn't know what was going on. I try and line up on my missile, get it off, and then I see this hunter coming in behind me. And I see he's turning back towards me, so I take this shot. I knew I had a little bit of room to make a movement, but missed him. So, not really going to worry about it. Just going to continue on, get some speed built back up. And it's about this time, I look above me, and I see there's a hunter. And I believe it's an F6. He's coming back down on top of me. Now, hunters are notorious for spraying around 800 meters. Now, it's great. You can do it. You can land the shots. But at that distance, these bullets are so slow. They're very easy to dodge. As you can see, not a problem. So I'm playing the same game with a hunter. He knows better. He's not going to turn in front of me. He pulls away like he should. I go ahead and fire off my other missile, and I look behind me. Here comes the other F-100. He's coming back. So I see he's caught up with my teammate, and then he changes targets, looks at me a little bit. But he doesn't get focused on me, which is unfortunately a mistake as I pull back into him and get rid of him. Bye bye now. Any questions, guys? Basically, I could just tell you one thing, though, is don't freak out when somebody's behind you. Because if you freak out, you're going to make mistakes. If you know what to do, then it's, it's going to come natural to you. I've been doing it enough now. It's, it's become really fun. It's my favorite thing to do. I, I, love, I love when the blood pressure gets rising a little bit. But overall, it's just that feeling of accomplishment once you get away from the situations. All right, so I'm going to close off. This is the opening clip. All right, I am playing it again. I want to show you guys something funny. If you haven't noticed how broken it is right now when you lose a wing on an F Saber, it literally is just an inconvenience. So check this out. This guy right here, this one in front of me that I'm about to kill. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of this shit. It is absolutely broken. Have fun. We'll see you around.